Salam alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Dagi tito mati sanjir tanif tu kana cakap faju jir taniyah dasa kana. Fenami singa gate tu jumbe enam dewi ada kapsi tu ti. Buya kan jaba wanjab tu kalle masyallah ti mandera ke sabuye. Kalle bihi sakselensi maamir adan kalifi. Wan ini kabat jira tu. Arda mandera ya kalle buah ke sur rehe nef. Kasi walin jir tu dibiti gavana doktor Ali ising kalle wan du gumat andu bate. Kalle dalam sille nege jira ini dah mati. Tolo kolleb garap kike sam fedele, wa wanchi uzura kolleb jabdun yosu indufte, jaba kabatane dani tolki, tolki wane rama rama ni miti, akasi iftu yu obole sketsan garap kita hafi, waktan kuna matan garap kike sam fedele, akasi iftu itikadi ya dabo kiana online. More beneficial manner. And with those few remarks in the English language, wakani din shega ya fer mandera tati ya nafin grisku kuhande ini nomesha nalo jogo, وحد أكتين تمان سنة كهر من دار السداء هاد بوا وده حسوسنا مجالا آت ويرا يا يهاد ما أنت وحنا كفاني كرنا مجالا لاميلا مجالا غريال ووين أي كده سنجين مجالا أي بعشرين فربضن أي كفرنجين تن أيده وحنا هرت وقوم هاد علينا إن السيستم كان ديفوليشن كن ولا كان مثل لبعض وحنا محد آت وبلارن وقول علينا إن هادنا نن مذاه آه و فيجن في عن غير من دار أو هاي أو تبان كسنة هر مرك آن هل إيه نبات آن هل دكسو شقي جابنا علي إبراهيم رضا. أنا جا أنا جا يو جابنا جا محمد آدم خليف وحين كو قرن تاي بلما هسيدين شيء كتونه وحاكمت إن ماشي ولا لكن أسو قتجي أن كقادنا أنا كسي وناجين وح كسي في عنا أنتو تلك من دار أنو كان إن شاء الله. ما أنت وحنيدين شيء كتونا. وحيابها مانيفستو ليرا هذا وحيابها بلنتي هو دولة سوسة عطاء إدتك وقبلتهم إن شاء الله بلنتاينا ولكن محمد آدم الخليفة سنو آخرين دونه بلن سياسة ده من نقوني دونته وحين نقوني دونته بلن دبئه ونكتر الله فقاده دون مركا أنا جو وقت بدن كوك هذا نين إن شاء الله خلا إيش ده ديسمبر كده دكتور علي ميلا هسكم جوجرو وحن كوير ما كده تركتان دكتور علي واركتن Mereka sahaja halu agak ada. Ani kan wah mak mak nuh doktor Ali. Program kain wah skumit. Hishi san wah sodan lubi hai. Mereka ani kan waktu pada kuku ada nen. Wah halu jauh agak ada nagi nih hatu kujuru. Wah hasil mant. Ani kan halal imaga so bahaya. Program kan ada nengka skala wah nengi tidi ras ras hal. Mereka kerana leh ada hati ada nih di nisan. Gabar agam wah halu wah sida teradat. وحن رواينا عن سودوين وحكلا نلجو في في الكن يعني كان سيدا أكل بعير هذين وعيده عن برنامج كان وعاو مسكلي هذيك يو يو محمد آدم خليف مركب برنامج كين هذا كنا قالوا وراء وحن دونا يا مركان سيد لو سودوين كري مدحوينا هم ركوا سوكلا يا مش إنا أو سودوين قبلنا ما إن شاء الله أو من بستو في سكن واحد السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته. وعربينا من عسل دكتور مندرا بدن وماتي بعدينه. هول كعبة هو بيجر هذي دك بدن بنا جاي فيلين. وهم مروا وترى قلي دك يروس تقولس إلى نرنت يوشن. لكن جعل أيوب بان حزب UDM. Yo line up ko line up kau dia na isa itu semua betul. Panu saya kalau ini anak orang Allah halan, insya Allah tu kira lah ni sio. Manifest itu hari ini anak orang Inggris ku agriyo. Kaba ada na hari ini orang muhim ka, orang ku kau tu ini of Somalia of Ghana. Your Excellency Governor Ali Ibrahim Roma. Governor Mandera County, the Honorable Members of the National Assembly, my able running mate, Dr. Ali Mahmoud, Sheikh Abdullahi Abdi, the chairman of NOMLEF, and the, and the chair of uh, the campaign MAC, the county assembly members present, senior professional from Mandera, the council of elders, religious leaders, women, youth, Ladies and gentlemen, Salaamu Alaikum Warahmatullahi Wabarakatuh. 
All praises and thanks to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for allowing us to meet today here. Alhamdulillah, we cannot take that for granted. Thanks to you all for accepting to attend this event. Thank you. Thanks to those following this event online. As you all know, I am here today to unveil my manifesto and share it with the people of Mandera. I consulted widely various stakeholders and relevant experts within our county and beyond in writing this manifesto. In addition, I live and work here in Mandera and therefore I understand our people's priority very well. It is your right to hear what plans those second electing positions have for you and your family. I hope my competitors will equally share their plans. However, it is you, brothers and sisters, to assess which of the competitive plans makes sense and closer to the reality on the ground. I am confident you will be able to distinguish between rhetorics and realistic plans. I am sure you have heard a lot about me. For the time being, for the time I have been in politics, I have always tried my best to avoid lying and making false promises. Since the start of 2022 election campaign, I am sure you, you have had testimonies from those who know me on several occasions. I am a man of my words. Inshallah, I intend to fulfill promises I am making to you today to the best of my ability. My government will, inshallah, be an all-inclusive, transparent, accountable government and will place the needs of our people at the center of decision making. We shall provide equal opportunity for all, for all, equal opportunity for all for our prosperity. My government will focus on broadly on two areas, wealth creation and addressing the basic needs of our people. Over the past nine years, His Excellency Governor Ibrahim Roba has invested heavily in establishing the foundation of our county. At the start of the revolution in 2013, Mandera lacked basic infrastructure and human capital. Today, Mandera County has become a flourishing country with well-developed infrastructure and well-trained workforce able to deliver quality services for our people. We thank His Excellency Governor Roba and his team for their effort. The priority for the next government, the next county government, shall be to build on solid foundation established by His Excellency Governor Ali Roba and also expand opportunities for all. My government will focus on three broad pillars. Pillar number one, transforming lives and livelihoods. Number two, transforming communities. Number three, transforming Mandera County. Let me now highlight some of the policy areas my government will address under each of these three pillars for the next five years, inshallah. Should you, the good people of Mandera, hire me as your governor, inshallah, my government will undertake the following programs. Under pillar number one, transforming lives and livelihoods. As you are aware, our county has one of, has one of the highest poverty rates at 77.6% according to Kenya Economic Report 2020. Since 2020, our region has faced extreme pressure, pressures due to COVID-19 pandemic and droughts, which have depleted our main economic base. As a result, Many of our people have lost their livestock and are now facing difficulties. The poverty level will easily be above 80 now. Therefore, our focus will be on transforming lives and livelihoods of our people 
in the most drastic ways. Considering the enormity of the task ahead, I will fully engage national leaders, professional groups, business community, national government, development partners, and most importantly, community groups and county workforce to actualize this manifesto. I am confident we have, I am confident we can together change lives and livelihoods. Achieving this requires a concerted effort and a deliberate attempt to push boundaries and to do hard things and move out of our comfort zones. It will involve going beyond the county government function. We shall engage national government fully so that whatever we do will comply with laws governing devolution and intergovernmental relations. Number one is education. Our focus will be on all levels of education, early childhood education, adequately invest in infrastructure, learning and teaching resources for early childhood education. In consultation with parents and the stakeholders, consider the possibility of integrate, integrating Duxi education into the county managed ECD centers. <laughs> Initiate and implement a feeding program program for pupils in early childhood education. Employ ECD teachers and managers and separate the management of ECD centers from primary school. Number two, primary and secondary education. Decentralized bursary, decentralized education bursary allocation to improve fairness and reduce double allocation. Set partnership between the county and the national government development partners, and NG, NGCDF to improve school infrastructure and capacity building of teachers and schools boards of management. Promote health education in our schools, such as the women school children and improving sanitation. In partnership with Ministry of Education and Teacher Service Commission, recruit up to a thousand qualified youth for school-based teacher training programs to address teacher shortages in our primary and secondary schools. In partnership with CDF, development partners establish and equip one secondary school according to the national standard in every constituency, inshallah. Subsidize parent contribution to the boarding school fees for 10,000 students to a maximum of 20,000 per student. <laughs> Technical colleges and adult literacy. Launch a wide countrywide, countywide adult literacy and continue education program to empower communities to play their role in our country political, social, and economic development. Invest in technical colleges, infrastructure, equip, and expansion of courses. Number two, healthcare. Ensure Mandera County Farm Hospital operates optimally with all the key departments fully operational. Ensure the county patient environment system operates efficiently and effectively and is fully resourced. <laughs> Ensure every location has access to fully equipped health center with clinical officer and other qualified health personnel. Ensure all hospitals and health centers and adequately staffed, equipped, and supplied with essential drugs and medicine. Decentralize healthcare management to sub county and build a management capacity of the healthcare workers. Incentivize, incentivize healthcare workers through timely promotion, training, and improved work environment. Consultation with the county health management introduce targeted recruitment of health workers to address capacity gaps. Introduce affordable universal health care scheme to improve our county resident ac access to quality health services. Ensure that primary health care provisions across the county are of high standard. Partner with Cambry and Cambry to provide regular training for health care staff to address new diseases. Invest in maternal, newborn and child health care services. Provide comprehensive 
health care coverage for the county employees. <laughs> Social protection, number three. Introduce cash transfer programs for 20,000 vulnerable households in the next five years. <laughs> Provide shelter and basic sanitation for 2,000 vulnerable households in the next five years. Regularize and support all the orphanages in the county. <laughs> Agriculture and livestock. Provide agricultural inputs such as seeds, fertilizers, and equipment. Increase area and irrigation to over 30,000 acres. Expand veterinary and agricultural extension services. Avail Sharia compliant credit facilities for private investors interested in modern agricultural and livestock farming enterprises. <laughs> Number five, potable water. Build at least six large-scale dams to provide sufficient water for livestock irrigation and human consumption. All sub-county headquarters to have clean and accessible water for their residents. To scale up water harvesting techniques and watershed management strategies in our county. Number six, youth empowerment. Dear brothers and sisters, our county is blessed with a youthful population. According to 2019 population census, 67.3% of our population are under 20 years of age, and 82% are under 30 years. Many will have considered such youthful population a burden and a ticking time bomb. While the demands for young population are high, and currently the level of underdevelopment is high, Seeing in youth unemployed as a problem is a mistake. I will argue that we need a mindset change to resolve youth unemployment. Firstly, we must consider unemployed youth as a resource rather than a problem. Then we can enlarge this underutilized resource for our county's benefit through deliberate and collaborative effort. Secondly, looking at the government as an employment bureau is, um, is a misunderstanding of the role of the government. While in our case, the county government is the primary source of sustainable job at the present, unfortunately, there is a limit to the number of people that the county can employ. Therefore, the solution to the unemployed problem is to grow our economy and multiply opportunities through which our young people can gain employment. Building the skill of our young people and availing financial resources that they can utilize to start businesses will both resolve unemployed problems and create wealth. Thirdly, growing an economy, growing an economy is a shared responsibility between the government and the private sector. It is, it is a partnership between the government and the people that create an environment for the economy to grow. Therefore, the private sector is the leading employment creator and must be seen as an active participant and not a passive observer. There is a need for the private sector to play its role in influencing government policies so that projects and programs geared towards wealth creation are prioritized. The wealth we generate will support us, the wealth we generate will support us fund social programs such as healthcare, education, social protection, among others. My government shall now address the issue of youth employment with the seriousness it deserves. Some of the measures we shall undertake include the following. Expand the participation of young people in the county development and guarantee at least 30% of all the appointments, projects, and budgets specifically targeted. Provide structured support for youth talent development in creative arts and sports sectors. Create at least 2,000 jobs for youth every year in the informal and formal sectors. Establish Mandera County Youth Empowerment and Development Fund to support youth lead enterprises and specialized technical skills training opportunities. Establish ICT tickle hubs in each sub county to provide opportunities for youth to access tick industry. Establish a partnership 
with National Youth Service to provide technical training for our youth to fill identified skill gaps. Number seven, women empowerment. Fully implement that gender rule to ensure that at least 33% of the county government appointments are women. Establish Mandela County Women Economic Development Fund to provide repairable, Sharia compliant business development loans for women led and owned small and medium enterprises. Promote girls' study of science, technology, engineering, and mathematics in our schools through partnership with the national government and development organization. Empower and capacity build women led organizations and religious groups to address harmful traditional practices. Food security. Provide agricultural input, seeds, fertilizers, and equipment, and subsidize to improve productivity and farm income. Increase the area and irrigation that thousand acres through expansion and rehabilitation of all schemes. Introduce county government purchase program for cereals and other stable of crops to incentivize to incentivize farmers. Deliver Sharia compliant credit facility for private sector private investors interested in establishing modern agricultural and livestock farming enterprises that support value addition. Expand veterinary and agricultural extension services through investment in human capital and physical infrastructure. Reduce food insecurity by improving food storage to reduce post harvest losses. Intensify research and create more demonstration plots to build capacity of farming communities, transforming communities. That's pillar number two. To achieve the goal I have set out under the pillar one, we must build on and encourage the peace that we have enjoyed over the past five years. We thank the current leadership of our county and our communities for the excellent work in this regard. As your next governor, inshallah, I will focus on three broad, broad areas to push this agenda forward, building a united and cohesive county, strengthen the traditional conflict resolution mechanism in our county, ensure equitable resource allocation in all sub-counties, build a shared Mandela identity while appreciating the differences in diversity. Ensure equitable employment opportunities for all the residents of Mandera. Number two, encouraging and devolving government services. Devolve county government function to the level, to the world level. Encourage community involvement in development planning and implementation. Build the staff capacities and provide necessary resources authority and responsibility to execute county operations at all levels. Build capacity of social community groups, social and community groups to hold the county government staff accountable. Number three, climate change and adoption and mitigation. Plant over a million trees across the county to, to count the negative impact of climate change. Governor Roba has done a lot in Mandera town Inshallah, we're going to expand it to all some counties. Introduce sustainable agroforestry agro practices to support food security and job creation while protecting our environment. Promote plastic waste recycling and enforce the ban on plastic carrier bags. Pilot aerial seeding of dry land, adapted indigenous grass and Sudan grass to improve food availability and reduce soil erosion. Establish large scale strategic food production farms and storage facilities through public private partnership to address pasture shortages during the drought. Pillar 3 transforming Mandera County. Investing in growth-oriented industries for wealth creation established a directorate and the Minister of Trade and Industry exclusively responsible for researching 
researching, collecting, and disseminating information related to agricultural and livestock production value addition. Provide training and study visits, opportunities for community groups, especially women and youth, to learn agricultural and livestock value addition. Prioritize investment in enterprises with potential to add value to Mandela County products and create jobs. Establish Mandela County Development Authority to mobilize resources locally, nationally, and internationally and invest in county growth-oriented industries. Develop a public-private partnership framework and engage local, national, and international companies, institutions, and individuals to invest in the county infrastructure and in specific growth-oriented industries with job creation potential. Number two, building and maintaining transport infrastructure. Upgrade all the roads in the county headquarters, inshallah, to between standard. Already we have Banaz, Banaza is underway, and inshallah will extend it to the remaining uh, four sub counties. Ensure all roads under the county development, under the county government functions are regularly maintained. Establish the county roads maintainers board to improve, to involve youth in roads maintainers and public works to create employment. Number three, improving security to reduce the fruit of devolution. Work collaboratively with national security agencies to maintain peace. Build trust between our communities and security agencies to ensure flow of quality information. Build collaborative relationship with the neighboring counties and border communities to maintain peace and develop and develop earlier response response system. Provide training and employment opportunities for youth to avoid radicalization. Provide healthcare coverage for national police reserve employed by the county government. Facilitate full border allocation for the NPR children in the secondary schools to motivate them. Building an accountable and transparent county government, number four. Establish an online development project monitoring platform to ensure quality and timely implementation. Establish an effective and efficient project delivery monitoring unit under the governor's office to ensure development project meet value for money consideration. Ensure merit meritocracy and involved in government appointment and promotion. Ensure efficient and effective government operations by introducing regular staff performance appraisal. Establish partnership with stakeholders such as community groups, elected representatives, business leaders to ensure priority development projects are considered for implementation. Number five, building sustainable towns and urban centers. First track the process of titles for already survey towns. Conduct spatial planning for all our sub counties sub county headquarters and open up access road. Ensure effective refusal refuse collection and disposal system in all our towns and villages. Initiate capacity building and adequate resources of existing municipalities like Elwak and Mandera. Ensure all our sub-county headquarters have fully operational fire services. Facilitate digitalization of land records and automation of revenue collection services. Achieving the above stated goals requires all our effort and input. Therefore, we shall consult our people thoroughly, not just for formalities, but to understand better their needs and prioritize programs and projects that will address their short their, to address their short to long term needs. Therefore, the public participation and the full involvement of the county staff will be the bedrock of our decision making in Shalva. Finally, we can only achieve the above goals if we are in government. Therefore, I request you all uh, to, embrace our, to, to embrace our home party, UDM, fully through UDM, 
you are determined to be at the national decision making table and not to be at periphery. We shall ensure our region receives its fair share of the national care. So let us build our party so that we are respected and taken seriously as a community. I appeal to you all and our competitors that we conduct our campaigns peacefully and respectfully. As I mentioned earlier, my government will be all inclusive and forward looking. We shall endeavor to build a bigger cake in our four of us. No one or community will be left behind the cornerstone of my government, inshallah. Once again, I thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for giving, a, giving me this chance to be with you here today and thank you all for support. Inshallah, let's together expand the opportunities for all. Thank you. Uh,
ವಿಶಾಲ ಹನುದ ದಾಳಿನ ಮಾಧ್ಯಮ ದತ್ಕಾಯಿ ಅವರೇನು ಮಂದಿರ ಅವರ ಹೊರಡೇರ್ಸೋ ಮರೇನ್ ಒಮರ ಹೊರಬ ಅವಳ ಅವಳ ಹೋದ ಈ ಗದಂಜಿರೇನ್ ಓ ಸ್ಕೂಲ್ ಕೋದಿ ಫೀಸ್ ಬೇಂಜಿರೇನ್ ಇನ್ನ ನಿಧಾನ ಸಹನು ಇನ್ನು ಈ ಸೆಕೆಂಡರಿ ಸ್ಕೂಲ್ಗೆ ಫೀಸ್ ಒಬ್ಬಲ ಸೋಹನೆ ಕೌಂತಿ ಗವರ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಬೆಂದು ಅಂತ ಶಾಲೆ ರನ್ ಸದ್ದು ಹರ ಮೇನ ಹಂಗ ಲವ ತಂಪು ಓಕೋಸ್ ಶಾಲೆ ಶಾಂತಿ ಸರ ಸೋಸ ಹೋದು ಆ ಬಾಯಿಸಲಿ ಏರಾದು ಎಸ್ ಏರನು ಕಾಯಿಸ್ ತರ ಸ್ವಾಗ ಆ ಸೀನಿದ್ದು ವಾಹನ ರಂಗಲಿ ಮರ್ಕ ಲಕ್ಷಕ್ಕೆ ಸೇನೆ ಇದಕ್ಕೆ ತಿಕ್ರಿ ಕೊಳಚಿನ ಕಾಯಿನ ಇವರು ಎಸ್ ಎಕ್ಸಲೆನ್ಸ್ ಡೆಪ್ಯುತಿ ಗವರ್ನರ್ ಅರೆ ಮಾ ರಿಲೀಫ್ ಉಡಿ ನಾನು ಹೋಗೋ ಜೋ ಜಿನ್ನೋ ಅರೆ ಮಾ ಕಾಯಿಸ್ ತರ ಸ್ವಾ ಕು ಫೇರನ್ನು ಲಾಕ್ಸಿ ಕಾಯಿಸ್ ತರ ಸ್ವಾ ಜೈ ಇದಕ್ಕೆ ಅಷ್ಟು ವಾಯಿ ಸಮಯ ದೋ ತೈನು ಲಾಕ್ಸಿ ಐ ಮೇಲ್ ಉ ಹೋಸ್ ಉಸ್ ಹೋಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಗಾರಿ ದೋಂತ ಇವು ದತ್ಕಾನ ಉದ್ದು ಕಾಮಹಾನ ಐ ಮರ್ಕಿ ನಿಮಗೆ ದತ್ಕಾನ ಹೋಸ್ ಅದಕ್ಕೆ ಲಾಕ್ ಎಲ್ಲ ಐ ರಾಶಿ ಕಿವು ಐ ರವಾ ಜಗದಿ ದೋನು ಹಾರ ನಾ ಮರ್ಕ ಇನ್ನು ಅಲ್ಲ ಆಗ್ತ ಸ್ಕುಬೆದ್ದಲ್ಲ ಕಾಯಿಸ್ ತರ ಸ್ವಾ ಓ ಸಿದ್ಧಿ ಯೋಸ್ ನೋ ಎಮಿ ಹಿ ಕುಲ್ ಅಂತೆ ಮಮ್ಮರಿ ಕರೋನ್ ಮಮ್ಮರಿ ಕರೋನ್ ಚಲ ಹನುದಾಲಿ ನಾ ಸ್ಟೇಷನ್ಗೆ ಎಫ್ ಎಮ್ ಕಿ ಯೋ ಏವೋ ವಾಹನ ಆಗ ಜಿನ್ನೈ ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ಫಿಲ್ ಆಗ ಜಿನ್ನೈ ಫುಲ್ ಸೋ ಕೊರನೈ ವಿಶಾಲ ಆಫೀಸ್ ಅಂತ ಓಡ್ತಿ ವಾಹನ ನಾಯ್ತ ಆಸರ ಜೋಗ ಸೋಗ ಬೈನು ಔಸಿಗಾಯಿನ ಹಾವಾಯಿ ಮರೋರಬ ಒಂದು ತುಸ್ತೇನ್ ನೀದಿ ನೋಫಿ ಆಯ್ ತುಫಿ ಅಂತ ಹೈ ವಾಹನ ಕಾಸರೈನ ನಾ ಅಂದ ಸೀನ್ ಸೋಮ ವಾಹನ ಅದು ಶೇಗೈನ ಹಾರ ಮರ್ಕ ಗೂಳಿ ಸನ್ನ ಅನಗು ಹಾರ ವಾಯ್ನ ಹೊರಾಸ್ತಾನ್ ಶಾಂತಿ ಸನ್ನ ಮರ್ಕ ಇಟ್ಟ ಮಾತು ಓ ಆಬತ್ ಆಬತ್ ಅಂಕು ಫಿರಿಂದ ಇಂಗ್ಲೀಷ್ ವಾಹಿದ ಚೆಕ್ ಲಿಸ್ಟ್ ಸೋಮ ಚೆಕ್ ಆನ್ ಲಿಸ್ಟ್ ಲಬಸ್ ಅನ್ ಇಬ್ಬರು ಮರ್ಕ ಹಂಗ್ರಿ ಮಾನು ಅನ್ನ ಸೊರೈ ಸನ್ನ ಹೊರಾರಿ ಮೀ ಮಾಲಿ ಅದನ್ನು ಶೇಗೈ ಮಹಾಕ ಕಪ್ಸೋ ಮೈ ಈ ಮಹಾಕ ಹರಿ ಹೋಗ್ತೇನೆ ಅನಿಸ್ಬೇ ಇದು ಮಂಡರ ಹಾನ್ ಶಾಂತಿ ಸಲ ಅಮರ್ಕ ಇದು ಮಾತನ ಏನು ಅನಿಸ್ಕೊಂಡು ಹೋಗೋ ಪೋಯಿಂತ ಶಕಬದನ್ನು ಮಾ ಇಂಥ ರಜ್ ಶೇಖ್ ನೈ ಮೈಹಾಂಗ ಬನ್ನಿ ಬಹಳ ಮಸ ದೇತನ ತೊಲೋಬಾತಮ್ಯ ಮಿಸ್ ಅಫರ್ತನ್ ತಾಸನ ಶಾಲೆ ಕುದ್ದಾಲಿನ ಅನಿಲ್ ನಸಿದಿಲ್ಲಿ ಇದು ಶೇಖೈ ನಿನ್ ಸ್ಕಬ್ಬ ಅಂಕಾದ ಮಾ ವಹಾಂಗ ಕಹಾದ ಶಾಲೆ ವಹಾ ಕುದ್ದಾಲಿನ ಅನ್ 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 ಹಗೈ ಜಿನ್ನ ಮುಹಿಮ್ ಕಿ ಹಾವಾಯಿ ನಬನ ಸೋ ಹೆಲ್ ನೈ ಶಂತನ್ ಸನ ಇಲ್ಲ ಯಾಕೆ ನೈ ಅಕಿನ್ ಚಿಮ್ ಕಂಗ ಬನ ರೋಗ ಹೋಗ ಮನೈ ಯೋ ಇ ಬಿಯಾ ಶೈನಿ ವಹಬದ ನೈ ಕಕತ್ತೆ ಖೈರ ಅಲ್ಲಾ ಹದಿಸ್ ಅಲ್ಲಾ ಸಿಯೋ ಅರಂತಿ ವಾರ ಮೈನ ಅಲ್ಲಾ ಹೋ ಜಿನ್ನ ನಬದ ನಿಮೊ ಅದು ನಬದ ಜಿರಿನ್ ವಹ ಓಲ ಕವನ್ ಕರ ಮಲ ವಹನ್ ಆ ಮಿಸನ್ ಐ ಕೌಂಟ್ ಆ ವನ್ ದೆಫ್ ದ ಸೋಮ ತತ್ ಕಾನ ಇದ ಜಿರು ವೈ ಯಾ ಮರ್ಕಸ್ ತುವಾನ್ ಅವ ಅಂದ್ರ ಸಮರ್ಕ وعليكم السلام ورحمة الله وبركاته مركا ضدك شرفت لي وحان ملينا يا قبل قبلي برنابس كا يا جوغنا حان عطسر يا إن شامنكا زي عبد الله عبدي وخرسو استاقو لبيتي قابانا وخصوة ترسمو قابانا يا نظا 